So welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyway bout between Muhammad Mokayev versus Jafael Filo or Jafael Filo. I'm gonna say Jafael Filo, but um, yeah, in this one, I'm going low confidence Muhammad Mokayev surprising. Why am I not going to lock Muhammad Mokayev? Why am I not going high confidence Muhammad Mokayev? In the last fight, he didn't look all that good, to be honest. He got suplex, got his back taken like twice. Almost got a choke sunk. I mean, just got did get a choke sunken in on him, but it was like a second left in that second round. So, I guess Malcolm Gordon, not a bad fighter. Just maybe not all that put together to have success that matches his skill level, I guess. That's what I'm going to say about Malcolm Gordon. But um, he can put a lot of bad positions. Now he's going there with another BJJ practitioner, a guy a little bit more adorable, or a lot, maybe a lot more adorable than Malcolm Gordon. And um, striking is definitely improving a lot for Jafael Filo. So, uh, Maybe like look at him earlier, always striking like, oh, it's not the best area of his game. Now, just watch that big evolution in his last fight. His striking looks so much cleaner in his last fight. Matter of fact, he finished the fight with his strike in the last fight. Then already having that BJJ beside him. And then, you know, big physical body, good conditioning, can push the rounds. Striking come along well. It's a very dangerous matchup for Muhammad Mokayev, who didn't look the, the best in his last outing. And I, I feel like a lot of times when he does go in with grapples, like, he does have some issues and does end up giving a lot of position and, you know, end up in bad position against Grapple. So he's going with a BJ Black Belt, big physical guy who has striking. This could be a very bad fight for Muhammad Kaiv and definitely upset can very much happen to him, especially talking about he got to maybe dealing with one hand or one arm or whatever they're saying about him. This could be a very, end up being a very bad night for Muhammad Mokayev. But I'm going to lean to the prospect. I'm going to lead him to find a way to get it done. Am I going to bet any money on that? <laughs> Whether he's like a minus 700, minus 800, some crazy, I ain't putting no money on that. If you want to put money on that, you can put it. Obviously, my confidence is low. I ain't putting no, nothing on that. But if you want to do that, y'all feel confident, I just I will tell you otherwise. I would probably say just put it maybe general finish or something, or I don't know, just better uh, neutral type of bet. Like if, like a submission, like both of these guys can get submissions or something, or in the distance or something. But um, Or maybe just uh, some, sprinkle something on a Philo finish or something, or not Philo from the bar, Frank's on a Philo, he already minus like, what, probably plus 600 or something, or plus 500, or plus 450 or something, I haven't checked recently, but yeah, anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to lean to Mohamed Makayev to, to win a struggle decision over um, Rafael Philo, As a matter of fact, also Rafael Philo is striking a little better, but hey, I'm just going to, I'm going to lean to the promise to do something, not with a whole lot of confidence at all, like probably little to no confidence, but I'm going to lead to uh, Muhammad Makayev to win this one. But, again, this guy is a very scary matchup for him, especially if he's not coming in here at 100%. Very scary matchup for him. But, yeah, I'm expecting Muhammad Makayev to maybe just outwork him, mix in the takedowns, outscramble him. Then on feet, maybe just land some more, more flashy strikes and edge a decision over Rafael Filo. So, in this one, I have Muhammad Makayev via decision. <laughs> 